Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Tom Tough Nuts coming at you with, yeah, another reaction today. And guess what? We're coming back to Steven Seagal's. Uh, incredible. One of my favorite gems we have found on the channel. These guys, it, it's something completely different each time. It's not what you'd expect. If you guys haven't heard them, I'm not going to spoil it. Um, but they're doing the song, Nothing Else Matters. I got to assume this is Metallica, obviously, I would hope. I, I am very familiar with that song. It was, it's actually, I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite, it's probably, it's definitely one of my favorite Metallica songs. Um, very, very cool song. Uh, but I'm curious to see what these guys are going to do with it. If they're going to stick with like more of the original, uh, feeling of it, or if they're going to give it a little seagull twist. Um, and I feel like it's probably going to be the latter, but it could be wrong. Uh, we reacted to him doing Thunderstruck, which was the first time I ever heard them, and I've been hooked since. And then uh, we checked out one of them doing some CCR. I think it was Up Around the Bend. Um, didn't have the best uh, reaction towards it. I kind of was hoping for more, but nonetheless, like the band itself did really well. Um, so, yeah, I'm ready to dive in here. But before we do, don't forget we also have a Patreon. If you guys would like to help support me as well as my amazing, amazing family, my beautiful wife, and this awesome community, uh, Go have a look. It's in the description below. Always appreciate it. Big shout out to my current patrons. Thank you guys so much for your generosity and support. Really, really means a lot. But yes, go have a look. There's lots of different things on there for you guys to check out. But let's go ahead and dive on in to some Nothing Else Matters by Steven Seagulls. Yeah, I'm really glad that they started that they started with those with the banjo. Um, I think it gives it a really unique sound. I don't know why I'm terrible with like knowing names of instruments and knowing like certain sounds of instruments. For some reason, I thought it was a violin at first. Obviously, it's a cello, um, which is a really warm sound, especially for this right here. It's cool that they do their videos outside too. I love that, like nature, and then just these guys, their talent. I think it's just the perfect effect for them. Uh, but let's keep going. Very nice so far. I'm ready for the vocals. So close, no matter how far. Couldn't be much more from the past. Forever trusting who we are. And nothing else matters. Hang on. <laughs> Dude, this guy in every video. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm assuming this is something that they do because this is, I think, the third time now. I can't remember if he did it on the CCR one, but he did it in Thunderstruck. He came in on a like a riding lawnmower. <laughs> now he's coming in on a little tugboat. That's great, but yeah, this is gonna be really good. And nothing else matters. I never open myself this way. Life is ours. It has a really, I, yeah, it seems like they're definitely sticking more towards the original sound, um, which is totally fine. I think it gives a lot of respect 
to, especially Metallica, because it's an incredible song by him. Um, and I feel like if they would have completely changed it and like maybe sped it up, I, I don't. And they still might. I don't know. But in some ways, I feel like, especially if you're a Metallica fan, uh, you might struggle with the thought of that because this is supposed to be a slower song. Um, but I'm always optimistic. I'm, I like hearing all different sorts of. Uh, versions of songs. I mean, that's why it's a cover, right? You don't always have to make it be the exact same copy of the original. Um, and these guys, I think if they do change it up, I think they'll do a very good job with it. Um, the harmonies are really good between the banjo player and I don't know what instrument this is. Um, I have no idea. That's not a mandolin, is it? Uh, he plays it a lot, but uh, these two together sounds really nice on the harmonies, but I'm ready for some accordion love. Let's get it. But I know say like obviously yeah this isn't like them lip syncing it like they didn't pre-record this uh it's raw it's very raw and it sounds really damn good uh it's hard it's hard to, i'm trying to balance the volume out uh because there's certain parts obviously the beginning is just a lot more quiet and then it's picking up more so it's extremely loud but that's fine i like loud music i just hopefully it's not too loud for you guys so if you have to turn it down a little bit i understand uh, but yeah, these guys are definitely bringing it home. I, I was wrong. I thought it was, uh, this guy doing harmonies too, but it's, it's a drummer. Um, cause I know this guy's got a crazy good voice cause he's the one that did Thunderstruck and I loved it when he did that. Uh, but so far, man, I'm not disappointed at all with this song. I love Metallica. Uh, I don't agree with everything they do obviously and they're what they represent, but I love their music a lot. And I think that this is for me specifically, I appreciate this a lot. This is a song that you just have to be careful with. And uh, I think they're doing a great job. Kills me, man, every time.
I loved it. I don't know about you guys. I'm sure there's going to be some people that hate on it because ah, it's not Metallica. Guys, come on, man. At least show some love and respect for somebody. For a group of people that are willing to attempt something like that, I think you got to at least give them some respect. Whether you would like the cover of it or not, I think it was incredible. Uh, there's a lot of talent with these guys. No, they're not the best singers, but as far as uh, them coming together as a group, and I think that's one of the most important things because, like, with a lot of groups, especially with multiple singers, yeah, it's every now and then you'll find a, a voice that really stands out. But it's more of when you have those type of groups, it's not like one person's the star. All of them are the star in the group, right? Uh, they're very good at their instruments. They're good singers. Uh, but then once they bring that whole sound together as one, man, that's where it thrives. Um, and that's what makes me uh, really enjoy this group. I just, I don't know. I don't hear a lot of this type of bluegrass, uh, which I'm shocked. I guess I just live under a rock because uh, I know it's around where I live. Uh, I just never really get to listen to it. Uh, but I love this style of music. It's just nice, relaxing, campfire-esque kind of music. It's a good time always. Uh, but anyways, guys, go ahead and let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the reaction as well as Steven Siegel's. Uh, but yeah, leave me some feedback. Give me some other requests of uh, songs by these guys. I know they have quite a few out there, but I don't know them until you guys request them. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Tom Toughnuts signing off. I will catch you at the next reaction. Take care. Good night, friends.